Alrighty, well, good morning everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, let me, um, let me intro this music really quick. This is gonna be Kill Off, uh, Path to Calamore, and yeah, it's a Dungeon Synth, Medieval Ambient. Um, I think it came out either today or yesterday. And as it's only a, a 16 minute video, and I do have a fair amount that I have to cover, I'm gonna go ahead and loop it. Like has been going on, I've got a bunch of moving parts on this, so don't don't be surprised if there's gonna be a few mistakes here and there. So, um, let me uh, let me clear out some of these windows real quick. Yeah, I won't do that till later. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I probably should have done this before I got the cast going, but. Good and trimmed up, but anyway, um, today's stream, uh, kind of, kind of good and bad. Uh, FX, FX3, yeah, I, I kicked ass and took names on that. Like, um, I beat a whole bunch of tournaments, and um, on some of the, in some of those tournaments too, I got such a huge score that I don't think I'll be able to repeat it. Like, I just freaking dominated. So. But um, otherwise, for the for the rest of the session, though, Pinball Arcade, it, if I recall correctly, it actually went pretty good. But um, at some point, though, it just the um, I guess kind of the bot the bottom kind of dropped out. Like it was just merely okay. Like it didn't suck anything, but it wasn't stellar. But a good chunk of that though was um, I um. I made, I uh, accidentally fat fingered a certain hotkey. I'll probably explain more about this later on. But yeah, I ended up, uh, I ended up fat fingering something. It was a, it was a stream overlay and I ended up, uh, I ended up losing about five, 10 minutes trying to get everything all fixed up. But it, I couldn't do, I couldn't do it. So I ended up having to just abandon the whole thing and just move along with the stream. But like I said, it just, it made, I mean, it made the whole rest of the stream not that much fun because I was so frustrated. Just try to get that problem fixed, but couldn't. So. Um, but otherwise, then um, at some point after, at some point after after that stream, I pretty much spent a good chunk of time just uh doing blog work um trying to work on today's but uh I also ended up doing a I kind of did a half ass job on a on yesterday's too so it I had a had to do some work on it as well so and I'm still not done so it so even then I there there's still I still have catch up work to do on a yesterday stuff like you know getting images racking my brain for stuff to type down um stuff like that um but otherwise just aside from all that just did the typical um, sitting around watching shit. Um, I ended up, I had to take a one. I had to take a one-hour nap once already, and the way I'm feeling at the moment, it looks like I'm gonna be heading for another one. And I just looked at the time. Looks like this might end up being a shorter than normal cast. I thought this is gonna go the full money, 15 plus minutes, but no. But anyway, um, like I said earlier, um, there's, I kind of made a mistake, or uh, let me, let me kind of rewind, let me kind of rewind a bit. Hopefully everybody can, yeah, I should be able to, but, um, one thing I have started doing recently, 
is I started adding up uh, adding extra little video clips to my stream um I had one for the longest time like for streaming pinball like whenever something goes horrendously bad but um I just I kind of I kind of got to thinking that maybe maybe some of the some of my viewers might find this stuff very off-putting so um but I started adding like a few more a few more little video clips So, but uh, part of it, I mean, part of it, it's there to just, you know, give my stream a little more flavor. But another reason why, too, was uh, stress relief. Um, it was just, it was one of, the, it was also one of the factors in why I added, why I added uh, Charlie Brown's fuck in there. It, you know, maybe putting something like that up might be better than, might be better than me going, fuck, every time. You know, which might, might actually scare people away. You know, scare any viewers away. So, it was just something I started doing recently. There wasn't a, there wasn't any huge conscious decision on, on my part to do this. It was just something that gradually happened over time. Um, and uh, yeah, there. In case anyone's curious, yes, it's very tedious to make. Um, in fact, I could probably, I could, I could kind of show you. Let me let me turn that down a little bit. So Yeah, I can't But um step I guess step one in um in step one in making these you can also, um, I guess I could probably show you too, uh, how to make a, how to make a GIF image, or a little, little, little animated GIFs that you often see. Um, but I, I can't do it here because I'm currently recording right now. But uh, what I would do is, um, if there's like a little, a little tiny part, you know, a little tiny clip of a video that comes to mind, you know. Get that video up and running on YouTube, and then do what I'm doing right now. Record it. You know, like if, if say, I think, I, in fact, yeah, I think I did this for the uh, Stormtrooper one, the ones in the speeder bikes. Um. It was actually a, I think it's actually a 30 second, a 30 second clip. But just, you know, just record a good chunk of that particular video. And then once you've done that, um, go on Windows Movie Maker. And I would think you guys can see my folder. I'll just go ahead and pick that. This is uh, yesterday's cast video. Um, and then I would just, I'll just pick one at random. You know, just, just move this around, and we got a prop. No, it's still running. I thought maybe the uh, YouTube might have crashed or something. I don't I don't know if you guys can see this I'm hoping you can Here, let me just do this so you should be able to see this towards the top of the screen the trim tool set start point set end point um I will just highlight just you can kind of see the little black line here just hover over exactly where I want it. Now, 
I can actually right click, right click the black line, and it'll give me all the options that's showing up here at the top. But because I don't think you guys can see the drop down menu that pops up, I'll just do it from up here. But, um, Oh, you can do hotkeys. I know. Okay. So, uh, but uh, I would uh, set start point. This will uh, this will snip the film on the the left part of it, like that. So I just snipped it, and then hopefully you guys can see this. The, the black line just, you know, slide it forward a little bit. And then you would you would set endpoint, which snips the right part of the film. There we go. 3.57 seconds. Okay, so and then um I would go here in the upper right corner, save movie. And we'll just call it just some dumb clip. And there we are. So there's that part. And now, now that that's it. Now that I got that, then I'll I'll click this here. Um, this is gonna be my browser, and I kind of have I kind of already have this all set up and everything. So what you're looking at now is my um. This is a web. This is a website called M or I just call it Image Flip. Um, this is the pro version. So I find this to be very valuable. Um, there is a, it is subscription based. I think you have to pay like ten dollars a month or something like that, but for for what I get out of this sucker, it's worth it. Uh, but I would go here to upload video and just click just some dumb clip. And it's gonna up then it's gonna upload and and um and this is also one of the reasons why I don't like Windows Movie Maker. I've said this in other casts, but this is just a mere gift maker website. Yet it almost has as much, if not more, functionality than Windows Movie Maker. Because the clip I just made on Movie Maker, I can't do what I'm about to do here. But this is just as an example. I can, you know, I can. I could just show, I could just crop it down to where it's just this little part here, you know, or I can just, I'll do that, but, but I can't do, I can't do this on Windows Movie Maker. Like as you, as you see here, the only way it can record is if it records the entire screen. Like you can't just, you can't, you can't crop, you can't crop it or cut to fit it or anything like that. So, um, and uh, it looks like. I feel like I'm unleashing a can of worms by doing this, but let me take that off. But you can you can rotate it. You can um you can add extra text to it if you want. You can do that if you want. Um and from the looks of things here, you can also upload a number another image I got on my computer and paste it onto there as well. I guess you can draw stuff, but it looks like it all. Uh, it takes me out of that, so. I'll just put done. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I wasn't really... I didn't really have any big plans for this. Okay, there we go. There we go. It all went. So... And then when you think everything is good to go... And there we are. So, we got ourselves a gift. And then, and then sometimes, and then you can also, and for those that saw the, uh, the Fred Sanford gift, I kind of, and I kind of showed how, uh, on one of my earlier casts, I showed how you can, uh, you can, you can sketch these things, you can take them, like, straight off the internet, straight off your browser, and right into OBS. So, oh, for those that didn't see it, um, you choose copy image link. And then you choose browser. And we'll call it Let's do this. Red box. All time com comedy legend. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention this, but whenever uh, whenever you hear me say, look out for a big blue patch, this is what I'm talking about. The uh, OBS studio thing. Then you type down the width and you need to get the number exactly right. There we go. Then you can you can embiggen it, you can shrink it. Oh, and kind of a it probably won't matter much, but um, if you hold down shift, you know you can move it around, you can do whatever, you know you can make it however big you want. But that. So, so there's that part. I'll go ahead and delete that out of there. Um, but uh, some things. Um, but uh, some of these, some of these, uh, some of these gifts are actually uh, web pages. In fact, uh, something in the slideshow that I had, in fact, let me, um, let me see if that'd be feasible or not. Okay, so let's go to behind the scenes. So I'm gonna copy paste the slideshow Called victories. That one there, Yuna. Um. Oh, and I'll let me show you a bit on how to do that. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Yeah. But um, if you can see here, you can actually make um, just create a folder, just create a folder, and then and then you can, you know, go to these Google images here, and then what you would do is uh, you would pick save image as. And then you would, uh, you would save that, you would save that, uh, that image, that GIF, to that, to that particular folder. Which is what I did to those five or six images. Just pile them all, pile them all into a folder. Thank you. 
Like what I, again, like what I did here. Just pile them all on that boulder and set up the slideshow and do it however you want and off you go. But um, one thing I did want to mention on that though is um, some of these images that you pick up are actually called uh, web pages or web pieces. And um, when they're when they're those, you won't be you won't be able to you won't be able to put them in your uh, you won't be able to put them in your slideshow. So what you'll have to do. What you'll have to do is you'll have to convert it, like what I have here. You'll have to convert it to a GIF. In fact, let me... Let me do this real quick. Okay, not what I'm looking for. So let's do this. I don't want to go I don't want to be spending all night trying to chase down chase down just the right one so but anyway that's it's kind of a it's kind of a recap of what I was talking about um one thing um I'm gonna be uh over time I'm just gonna be adding some extra uh extra clips to my streams Oh, and uh, I also forgot to mention here too. You can um. You can rename. You can rename your um, uh, your sources, which is because I got a bad memory. I have to actually type down the hotkey that you have to use. So, but I, like I said, you can't. Uh, I guess since I'm here. I clicking settings and then Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but you could um you can set hotkeys for all your sources and stuff. Which was something that I totally and completely forgot to do before getting going on this cast video. So, but you can, um... I, I'm hoping you can read this. Key combinations shared with hide victories will act as toggles. What that means is, when you look at here, Alt-1, you can, you can set it to turn it on and off. And you can also have the same exact hot, or same exact hotkey with many different ones. So if you've uh, if you've ever seen any of my other cast videos, that um, if you ever see like a whole bunch of images pop up at once, that's how I did it. So let's go back here once more. Um, that's probably what I did. I just put up a whole, just added a whole bunch of images and gave them all the same exact hotkey, like Alt 2 or Alt 3 or something. Gave them all the same hotkey, that way so at the proper time, Alt 3, blink, they all pop up, so... Otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me. I, uh, I think I actually kind of went a little over long in this video. Um, I was expecting this to be around 15 minutes. Oh, what a, what a long, strange trip it's been. 
earlier I, earlier I was saying that this is going to be a short video. <laughs> no, it actually went a little bit over long. So. But, yeah. Um, like I said, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, but thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And and maybe, maybe after the stuff I talked about, it might inspire somebody or it might inspire other people to try their hand at making these things. Try their hand at uh, content creation. So. But... Otherwise, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, though. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.